empty this Glengairn. Hey guys, welcome back to Weekly Whiskey. This is Jay, also known as Take, uh, from WhiskeyRaiders.com. Uh, go ahead and check us out online, news, reviews, all the good stuff about whiskey. But we are here to talk about a brand new product this week. I'm super excited about this one. This brand is up and coming, I believe, in my opinion. They've got a lot of cool stuff going on, and you probably have not heard of them. All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Let's go ahead and talk whiskey. I don't know if you've seen this brand before. My guess is probably, but probably not. Uh, really cool stuff coming out of there. Found North uh, is a brand based out of the Northeast, but they're not called Found North because they're in the north of the United States. They're called Found North because they are sourcing whiskey distilled up in Canada. That is their entire shtick. They have some pretty solid age statements and they've just announced a single barrel program. If you guys know me at all, I pick one or two single barrels a year. I look over the R Bourbon single barrel program. We do about 150 barrels every year. If you want more information, you can find it at rbourbon.com. I'll drop a link below. But they reached out and they mentioned that they were dropping their first ever single barrel and they asked if I would like to try it. So I'm never one to turn down some new whiskey. This is some pretty cool stuff. We'll see if I can open it. Apparently not. This is my most important tool in the whiskey industry, believe it or not. This stuff's like really tough to get into. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got some whiskey. This is Found North's first single barrel. Let's go ahead and look it over. It is a grain bill, also known as a mash bill, of 66% rye, that's pretty high, 30% uh, corn and 4% barley. Uh, it's coming at 54.7% ABV. Uh, and it is aged in new wood char number three. So the shtick behind their barrel program, you know, if you know anything about their brand, they release blends of really old product, typically lots of Canadian rye. There's some wheat stuff as well and some high corn distillate on the side. So how do you get a single barrel with three different mash bills? Uh, they are taking these, they're blending it up and then entering that into single barrels as a finishing series. So if you think about it, it's a lot like Maker's Mark is doing. Maker's Mark is using finishing staves, uh, but they'll take you know a big blend, put it in a barrel, add your staves, see how the finishing goes. This is pretty common in scotch as well. So I've got it here in the glass, been resting for a minute. I'm curious about this and it's relevant. We'll talk about it in a minute, but man, this guy is sweet on the nose. This is pure popcorn. Popcorn at first, like a, like a nice drizzle of popcorn and butter, but the rye spice dips in right away. 66% rye, that's a good deal of rye. It's not quite MGP's 95.5 mash bill or Whistle Pig's 100% rye, but there's a lot of spice. Wow, okay. I always like to take a big first sip. I think that's kind of fun. So, digging in here. <laughs> This is definitely right. This thing is spicy as hell. On the nose, sweet buttery popcorn. There's a little bit of like a knees, and there's a little bit of clove. There's a little bit of baking spice pepper. Um, it kind of hints that there's some rye coming, but it's really sweet. There's almost a creamy, uh, buttery, toffee kind of element to it. On the palate though, this thing is pure rye. This is all spice. This is big, bold, herbal. There's black tea. There's that light kind of dill note that I used to get from MGP. It's weird to see it coming from Canadian stock, but really nice overall. This reminds me of a spicy, spicy whistle pig cask. I love whistle pig single barrel rise. They tend to lean a little bit sweeter despite the 100% rye. This guy is like a whistle pig dialed up to 11. I can see why they kept this barrel for themselves as their first release. You know, reminding you guys kind of a cool label too like these are the same labels that are going to be up on the bottles as well you can see kind of there really really cool aesthetic so overall uh, I really like this guy it's a touch woody on the finish like it's very drying very oaky um, it's powerful you have to like oak and spice oak and spice oak and spice and it leaves with an anise note which I think is kind of unique and I think will be polarizing among you guys a lot of people either love or hate anise but overall I think this is a win this is some really nice stuff so should you buy this i think if you want to try it you know give it a go um, if you're looking for another single cast though a um, little reveal we have an r bourbon single cast coming along so ours is releasing just after this we were actually able to make the first pick that went out to market so these guys picked their favorite barrel and then let us come in before any other retailers 
any other stores, groups, societies. Really honored, really cool experience. Thankful to the staff at Found North for that. Um, so while this guy is good, we have a single barrel that's coming. It was finished in Sauterne wine, which is a sweet dessert wine. I think it pairs really nicely with how spicy that is. So if you have a sweet tooth, go and check out the R Bourbon barrel coming soon. For everyone else, if you don't have as much a sweet tooth, you just want something that's powerful, rye forward, I think this is a great buy. Uh, really cool stuff. And it's fun to be part of the first barrel for a brand. I mean, uh, imagine if we got to try the first barrel from Heaven Hill or the first barrel from Buffalo Trace or even the first barrel from you know, probably someone who's a little more similar to Whistlepig. It would have been really cool, but uh, we didn't have the opportunity. You can try it now. I believe that this is going to be fairly exclusive to the Northeast, so I wouldn't get your hopes up uh, too much if you're dedicated and kind of outside that area. But if you try it, let me know your thoughts. This is a big spicy boy. I'm going to go smell it for a while. So really interesting pour. I can't wait to cocktail with this. I don't know what I'm going to make out of it. I'm thinking like a Vocare or perhaps maybe a Manhattan. I said that wrong. Whatever. But cool, guys. Well, thank you again. I am Jay from Whiskey Raiders. You can also find me here all the time at Weekly Whiskey. You can check out more from us every day. We have drops. We've got some great content coming out that I know you guys will like. So go ahead and check us out. I'd really mean a lot if you could support the channel by liking, subscribing, or just, you know, share it with a bourbon friend. Uh, someone that likes whiskey, hasn't heard of us yet, please go ahead and share it. That is the best way to support what we're doing. But until then, I'm going to drink some whiskey, and I'll see you guys for the next video. So cheers, guys. Thanks.